All right, day two on this shit. Uh, me and Nate are de de harnessing it. We're gonna take all the harnesses off of it. Later on, I come and take the AC stuff off of it. We're gonna pressure wash it. Uh, pressure wash my floor. Pressure wash the engine. And we're gonna reseal the engine today and get it ready for paint. So for right now, we're just taking off shit. Good thing is they didn't cut stuff. That's the good thing. That's the first car I see or they actually took their time and disconnected stuff instead of cutting stuff. So like the hood light is here. You can see all the shit is still there. It's just missing a bulb. All the AC stuff is here. They disconnected everything legitly. They didn't cut nothing. They always cut fucking wires. <laughs> like how I did to take off the shit. <laughs> but I know where they go. That's the pit. Get me? Like, I see those two little wires right there? I cut them. Uh, that wire right there, I cut it. But I know exactly where they go. And some of the shit is going to get removed anyway, so. <laughs> so I'll bring it back as we go. All right, we're bringing it back. Uh, AC box off, AC line is off. Uh, that's the uh, OEM harness to the car. That's the engine harness to the engine power wire. And on that side, there's a bunch of little cables that I have to see where they're going to uh, before we pull. Uh, right now, we're just gonna clean the whole side on that side and start removing shit from this side. Other than that, she gets pressure wash and starts scuffing for paint. But we don't have materials for paint, so it's just scuffing. I still gotta go get a uh, plastic to cover the car, uh, primer, paint, shit like that. So, I'll bring it back as we go. All right, we're bringing it back. Car is washed. Intake is washed because it was super duper dirty. Uh, you see, everything is washed. See, on my pressure washer, don't play games. It takes paint off of shit. Uh, you can see right there. See that right there? That's where the pan was rubbing the the link. Uh, once we raise the engine up, I show y'all. But the engine is washed. Our mission is washed. They got the grease and clean. Right now, we're gonna start this, uh, separating the engine from the trans because we gotta reseal the whole engine up. Uh, new pan is on the way. Uh, we're gonna regrasket everything from valve covers down to the rear main seal, front seals, uh, front front gasket, rear gasket, and oil gas, oil pan gasket. But uh, we're gonna wait for that until the pan is here. You see those big ass sensor adapters? Fucking, that's a I want to say that's an autometer sensor. Autometer sells a kit for LS so you don't have to run that big ass extension like that. And it's like this sticks out like this much out of your engine. They ran the same adapter for the rear. And that's it. So right now we're gonna drain the oil. Uh we're gonna Plug in the starter, rotate the starter so uh, you can take out all the water out of the inside of the engine out. Uh, we're gonna take, take the spark plugs out. Uh, right now we're gonna just disconnect the trans. All right, bringing it back. Front cover, gasket, front new front sealed. Uh, we went in on a pan so the pan didn't get a gasket yet. It's here, but the, the gasket, not the pan. Uh, rear has a new gasket and new rear main seal. Right now they're taking off the, the tower of uh, sensors to remove that. 
he's taking the water or whatever sensor he's that's the water temp sensor on that side they're not going away they're just removing it uh, removing it uh new valve covers got the gasket and new uh gasket why you took the fucking cam sensor off make sure you clean the cam sensor and put it back in uh that's it for the engine are we just waiting as a pan gasket engine get a uh, brake clean nice little degreaser on it and it's get painted black the whole engine get painted black uh, yeah it's a tower of sensors tower of pressure tower pressure it's a tower of pressure sensors new motor mounts are coming everything is already locked and loaded uh crank is already not crank but the fucking uh, flex plate is already torqued down crank is already torqued down everything is already torqued down we just waiting on the pan we're gonna move on to the engine not engine but the car and start some of the wiring for it like that when we prepped it it just prepped spray we paint it and this motherfucker gets to go back inside oh and we found a stall inside the transmission I'll take you to the transmission. See, the transmission has a star in it. <laughs> Shut up. It has a star. That's why it was. Fatboy said the car didn't want to move. So I guess it has a big ass star inside of it. All right. Bring it back. This is a Mickey Mouse we found. Oh, I found because Fatboy is dumb. But this was connected to the starter wires. This purple is a starter wire. This shit was inside the car going like that. Yeah, I know. Get away, Jay. Jay, get away. Okay, but this two were inside. Okay. Walk away, motherfucker. But it's a fuse. It was a fuse holder. It's a fuse holder. Yeah. Going like that. And this was interrupting the starter remember in the beginning of the video last yesterday's video i told you uh told you guys uh fatboy had a start heart starting this car so i guess he had to press this shit and start it at the same time unless he this is the starter button for the car but i don't know but we're getting rid of it and okay uh, get out the way Okay, we started started taking shit, and this were where that little piece. Here. This thing was here, and the wires was going here for that fucking piece of shit, that thing that I just showed you guys going towards the fucking starter. So, oh, and all the Mickey Mouse inside the car. But I just got the owner off the phone. He said I'm allowed to de delete all this shit. Look at all that shit. Why? Why would you do all this shit? And look, all these grounds, and they lose. They lose grounds. So for right now, that's just taking off the center console. See all these shits? But I got permission to remove all this. So we're going to remove all this. And that removes all these gauges. He has a gauge over there. It has two gauges over here. He has these gauges that he said they work. I don't know. I didn't test the car before you guys here. We never test them when you got here. We just go by what the customer says. And the customer gets to test drive them before they take them home. But yeah, all this shit. We're going to remove the computers on that side. And they found more Mickey Mouse. <sighs> it's just more repairs than I thought it was going to be. But it's mostly wiring repairs, not, uh, you know, engine repairs, stuff like that. But wiring repairs is most, more, more, more time consuming. consuming, And it's it's a higher labor for doing wire repairs and shit for, for doing wiring because it's time consuming. So I fucked up. <laughs> Russia fucked up. Horacio's gay, guys. Okay. Yes, he is. Horacio's hella gay. Hella gay. Hey, Horacio, don't lose those fucking boats, fool. 
Okay. Yeah, make sure uh, you put them. I say in the back seat right there. Okay. Where you know the little dip. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, we come into the end of the video. Amazon didn't show up with my uh, backing plate. It was having the backing plate that goes to the engine stand. <sighs> but they didn't make it. But all the Mickey Mouse I took off the under dash. That's the Mickey Mouse I took off the under dash. And here's the harness. This is the LS engine harness. But I found Mickey Mouse on the fucking... See this? It's two wires down to one to this shit right here. So, and then there's so this one. It's this going to it. And this wire going that way, see? So now I gotta find what actual pins are they and what do they control before we do a, anything and this one here are the outputs they're not outputs but they outputs to like gauges so i just gotta find if the fans are in here or the yellow one right there is that the fans outputs so i can put the fans on it and that's about it it just needs to be scuffed get it ready for paint uh the whole interior is gutted not fully gutted but it was gutted already but we took the console off took all the mickey mouse off and shit like that so we just gotta scuff it and get it ready for paint take off those engine mounts and for the new engine mounts take off that power steering because the the new cavf has a new power steering and that's it so this is the end of this video we bring it back in next weekend we probably get paint and scuff it and get it ready for paint and probably the rest of the stuff is here by then so we can put the engine and trans back in there and just worry about the harness after so we can do the nice harness i gotta redo the engine harness the original one to this car i gotta redo the light harness that's that one right there for this car i have to get it loomed but for right now we got we did good progress it's just waiting on stuff all right so we catch you on the next video